I feel terrified to think that it's my job to raise my kids. And it's so relieving. It feels so hopeful <laughs> to be cliche. There is hope in being able to send my children to a place that I know that they're gonna be safe and be able to ask hard questions and have people who have special skills to rely on. What's nice though, compared to like them going to school or an athletic event or something like that, is I feel like everybody here has prayed and has this single focus on God. And so when they come here, we know whatever happens is gonna be good stuff. And it's a safe place for them, which in today's world, it's a little harder to find all those places where you really are accepted for who you are. Being a teenager is hard. There's a lot of distractions. Uh, it's easy to get involved in the activities and have identity wrapped up in those. Like, I'm an athlete. I'm a nerdy kid. I'm in AP classes or I'm in the band. And church, when you go to church camp and it takes you out of those everyday identity creators and disrupts their entire schedule. No phones crazy sleep schedule. <laughs> I think it really creates a opportunity for them to reflect on their culture, uh, the kind of person they're going to be. You read the Bible every day. You sang worship music every day. You were all in with this super safe environment where everybody is in that same space. And there's efficacy at church camp. Everybody's together, focused on the same thing. And then you come back into the world and now you're a lighthouse. And you're the one standing up showing God, but not everybody else around you is doing that. And so that's the, like camp sometimes can like build that foundation to make you the lighthouse. Al started when she was 16. She was a sophomore, junior, went to winter weekend. Super introvert, not interested in traveling with other people, likes being at home. And I was like, why? Went, came back a different person. And now, next summer, we're gonna have two kids who wanna go on the international mission trip. So it's like the those built. And I think you can't, I could pay a thousand dollars or I could pay $10,000, but to know that your kid feels like they're okay in the world when they're 16 is worth whatever it costs. I wish everybody could have that though. Like there's families who can't make that decision because they're like, sending my kid away for the weekend is not gonna happen in our budget. For our family, with so many kids and all of them being teenagers at the same time, it's a lot of money all at the same time. Uh, winter weekends, always a November, you know, Christmas time and paying for winter weekend right then. Again, it's an important priority at our house. It's just there's only so much pot of money. Uh, and I can't imagine having to make the decision to not send my kid to camp because I can't even pay the half price. Uh, I know that camp costs money. I know we have to pay people, we have to pay worship bands, I know we have to pay for gas and van rentals, I know we have to pay for food and housing. It's just when you really break it down into that amount of money for one week, it's like, whew, my kids are expensive. <laughs> so I'm glad we get to I'm glad we get to send them and I definitely see the benefits uh, for their mental health and their um, and their friendships and their ability to have a close relationship with God. I'm glad to know that they have Jesus, to know that he's the one that we can rely on instead of us. And I'm glad there's a whole community of people telling him the same thing.